All right, so uh, I think let's see. I put what uh, three coats of the clear onto the soundboard, and now I'm doing a wet sanding. So it's just basically wet sanding is just uh, wet, dry sandpaper, water, and then um, and then you just sand it a little bit each time. And I'm trying to. Uh, it's really windy outside, so I got a real. The allergies are kicking in, and my nose is like messed up. I've got like areas like. Like that. Things like that I want to get out, so I just sand it away best I can. You can feel it when you rub your finger. You can feel the little little nubs. Just kind of sand that away. The next clear coat will cover it up and it becomes pretty much transparent. I think for the last the last clear coat I'm gonna use a brand new brush. Cause I don't know if my brushes are dirty. I clean them, but you know, you just Something like, like that. And just sand it away. This thing will never be completely flat, but that's okay because um, what I'm going to do at the at the towards the very end is um, I'm going to take this. Uh, I have this gray. Uh, this gray pad, like one of those green scrubby pads, but it's gray and it's the equivalent to a thousand grit sandpaper. And I will dull the entire, the entire finish. And um, I think I'll do that after the design is on. I don't even know if I want to do that design. I've been looking stuff up and um, the Lion and Healy, let's look at the, oh, my nose will not stop. Let's see, let's look at this under the light. I don't know, I don't think this has been hand painted. I mean, that it's pretty hard to paint like that, that perfectly. Um, it looks like it's, Let's see if I can maybe zoom in from far away. It looks like that's gold leaf. See how it's all wrinkly and stuff like that? I work with uh, gold paint in my acrylic art and it uh, it doesn't end up like that I think that uh, what they I think what they do I mean it's a factory where they make these things I know they have artists artisans and all that stuff but to get it to write on every time they have computer programs now that you can design things, right? And then transfer that uh, with the different colors onto a, it's a machine that'll print it on a, uh, it'll print it on a sheet of gold leaf. And it's a peel and stick type thing where you, you lay it down and then you, you know, you peel the sheet back. I saw some videos on that. So that's maybe how they did. Maybe how they did this. It looks like it's hand, hand painted. But. You imagine how much time. And I mean this. This design. This, this is probably right about 37. Right here. So you got one up here. 
one over here and then two small ones for each side um, and it's really really flat so usually when you paint it's not going to be super super flat it'll be you know it'll be raised up where things pool up and stuff like that then they they put a clear coat over it you can see this is kind of a this is like a satin satin finish so it's getting uh it's getting close it's a little bit of a darker at first I was thinking maybe I should uh, throw a little tint in the oil, but it's okay. It's supposed to be like a petite natural look, but you know, whatever. The whole thing is kind of, a, <laughs> you know, it's been changed. I mean, it's uh, the back of it's been painted black to hide all the imperfections you can see all this right here it's just i just keep sanding it down and keep adding and every time you do it it just gets flatter and flatter and flatter uh, i'm getting kind of burned out so i think after after i get all the clear done then I'll order the eyelets and figure out, I'm gonna call Robinson's Harp in San Diego and talk to somebody there. God, my nose. And um, ask them what they recommend for, for the eyelets for this thing. What size, if they gotta be bigger here, it graduate to smaller ones. I think they might because they have three different size eyelets. Okay. Okay, I got uh, clear coat number four. It came out pretty, uh, pretty good. Used a new brush that I've had for five or six years. I was going to use one of these chip brushes, but they leave hairs. So this time I was doing pretty good. Didn't have a lot of lint. Put some new thinner in here for to clean this paintbrush. Um, I, you know, run the stuff through a um, this sifter or whatever you call it, a strainer, and uh, I laid it on pretty thick. So I think I see one little nib right there. Yeah, it's no big deal. When I get the thousand grit uh, gray pad, it'll take all the little nibs off and it'll flatten this. So, um, yeah, that that'll. I think I'll. Uh, I think I'll do that. I'm not gonna wet sand it anymore. Um, and once I flatten it out, then we'll work on a design. And then we'll put one last clear coat over that design. And then we'll lightly scuff it with a gray pad to dull it out. I want it to look like that kind of texture. I was going to put a tint in, in, the, in the clear, but I decided it looks really good. Um, look at the rest of the harp that's still natural color, which kind of looks like this. All right, I'm telling you, it really smells vo volatile in here. <laughs> so I'm looking up designs that I can put on that um, soundboard. And I'm saving some of them. Stuff like this. That doesn't look too hard. I want something real simple. 
you know, um, Well, so far, I've got this. I kind of want it to look vintage. So I got the two of the same. Something like that might fit. Either side, I kind of like it. Because I can put one on one side and turn it over and stick it on the other. Stick it on the other side. This is a real old design. But I'd like to have color in it so I don't have to make up <laughs> the, the coloring. Something like that, eh. This would be real simple, but it's kinda uh, modern looking. Something like that, it's kinda weird. It's got red in it. Well. I'll probably get about a hundred of these and then I'll run it by my wife and go, which one do you like the best to put on the harp? I'd like to find something that's French. Eh. Anyway, so that's what I'm doing. So what did I type into this? Thing. Harp, simple, vintage, gold, baroque, floral, scroll, filigree, and you get a lot of this type of stuff. Um, and you just click on one. And you'll get a bunch of similar things on the, underneath it. Uh, I wonder what line in Healy used for theirs. Maybe it's on here. But anyways, so you get the idea. It's got to be three colors, gold, bronze, and black. Because those are the colors of the paint that I have that I can use. But uh, there's so much of this stuff after your, while your eyes start getting tired looking at all this stuff. So this is a design on a harp. I, uh, I put it in uh, Adobe Photoshop to uh, kind of do an image search on Google. And, but that's the design that they put on there. Um, on either side. So it starts out at the bottom. It's kind of big and round here. And then it gets smaller as it goes up, up the top of the soundboard. Let's see. Uh, we all, uh, yeah, see, there's the uh, that looks like gold leaf. It's all wrinkly here, but then the paint part is smooth. Now, I don't know if they've done that with a machine or by hand, but I, ma I imagine some kind of a decal. Really confusing. And I've got a bunch of different pictures of harps. Like, see, here it is, Lion and Healy harp. 
I think this one's, no, that one's not like mine. It's got the wider bottom. But you can see the harp designs, big round ball here, and then it slowly goes up. And some of them even have a, yeah, this one's got a, two little designs at the top. And like, here's a, now see, this is, I don't know if this is a lion and Healy, but it is a soundboard and this person is, I don't know what they're doing. They're painting it. Here's the gold leaf. I don't know how the heck you apply that. There's uh, several ways of doing it. I know it might be a stencil that they lay over there, but lay over it, but then they've got to uh, have some kind of a f medium that you paint it and then you lay the gold leaf over it and it sticks to that. And then you, you know, you brush it and stuff like that. But just painting it, it could get the mess up the gold leaf, but that's, there's nothing like gold leaf. It's just r super brilliant. You know, I've got pictures of everything that I've been doing. Um, let's see, pedal harps, pedal, pedal. You know, that's, that's the piece that I have there. It has a weird texture. I don't think paint will, I don't know, maybe there is paint that will do that. I have to, uh, have to investigate that. But anyways, um, so, so far I've been finding some more designs like, uh, you know, the, this is applique that you sew on to clothes and there's some pretty weird stuff there's uh that's pretty busy um and what's funny is in a lot of religions will have it on their on the priests um clothing this is something they put over their neck and it hangs down. But they have that kind of kind of stuff. I've been finding a lot of uh anyways, the search the search goes on. Now here's a gal that um I think she makes these things, but it's just basically a decal. You know, I mean, on uh, on guitars, they, you know, the Gibson logo and all that on the headstock. It's a certain type of decal they put on there. That would be easy, wouldn't it? So she just puts it on there, peels it off, rubs it down. credit card or plastic card then she peels it off yeah it's just my luck for a big decal part of it would start lifting off but yeah I know there's nothing that is cooler than hand, hand painting okay so this is the uh, Salvia Harp factory tour and I got their brushes and stuff with the gold leaf but I did find somebody hand painting the soundboard so they are doing it by hand oh, how they do that it's pretty it's pretty good then they clear coat it spray booth dust free room now what are they doing there there Ironing it on. What 
is that? Then they polish it. Okay. And buff it out. Wow. And they're buffing that out too. Did they put a clear coat over it? <clears throat> I don't know if the, you'd have to. Yeah. Okay. So I'm just experimenting. Now here's this one picture. I think I found this on Facebook. On um, Lion and Healy Facebook page. And it's got that design there. So... I took that design and uh, I just cropped it out like that or and I took this and I ran it through an app on my phone called Renimi I think where you can sharpen it up because It's so blurry towards the top. It gets pixelated and stuff. So I sharpened it up and I got this, which is sharper. And then I put this and just kind of cleaned it up, um, changed the the angle on it a little bit and I can manipulate this and it's pretty similar to this kind of stuff here um, I don't know if I'm gonna go this route but that fits and I can take this and I can I can stretch it up or make it fatter um, But I might copy that since it's got that ball here and then it scrolls up like that. Boy, I tell you, allergies I got this, this year from these Santa Ana winds in Southern California. Oh my gosh. Okay, uh, so this is a possibility right here. Might look good. Yeah, I think I need to squish it in a little bit make it a little bit taller and I'll experiment with it okay so I found this on uh, on Facebook it's lying in Healy website and you can see um, there's the design um, and he's rolling on um, what is it uh, it is adhesive tape. It's 23 plus carat gold leaf decoration is rolled on. So, um, so let's see. Let me stop this. There's the design. And you see how it it's a different color from here to here. So it looks like, almost looks like a detail right there. I don't know if the camera picks it up, but see the outlines right here? That almost looks like a clear, some kind of clear tape, yeah, see? There's an outline around all of this, like it's a die cut or whatever it is. Same with right here. See those lines around it? Yeah. Um, so, I'm sure they have to apply a clear over this so that it blends in and protects all this gold leafing. Um, I'm just looking at this soundboard and there's the rub rails. 
It's a lot easier when you have this the sound box out of the harp and working it flat, you know. Um, and then, so he's got this all taped off. Um, then this center rib spline, whatever it is, there are the dots. So look at the size of these holes. They're pretty big compared to what I've got going on right now. Interesting. And he does, there's no designs at the top, so I'm not gonna do any design at the top. That would be pretty cool to get some of this though, huh? Now here's an idea. This self-adhesive vinyl metallic textured crap permanent vinyl roll. Let's see, 12 inches by six feet. So what it does is it makes stuff like this and you can see it's got that same kind of texture. And then I guess you paint over it, but if it's, if it's bumpy, it'd be hard to paint over that. I mean, it would come out kind of weird, but eh, that's one idea, you know, you get this roll. Adhesive side backing paper. Huh. Anyways, that's just uh, one other idea. Hmm. I wonder that's what. I wonder if that's what they did. If that's what they did, like uh, this part right here would be the vinyl sticker that you cut out. Then apply it, and then and then paint over it. Yeah. So going back to uh, the Salvi Harp Factory tour, you can see that the gold is already laid down. So I'm just wondering if that's. Um, I slowed it down a little bit. And then they, you just go over it with uh, paint and touch it up. Give the, the darks, so it gives it dimension. I'm thinking that's maybe how they do it. That way it looks hand painted because you got this part, but the main gold part is laid down. Um, okay, this is just an experiment. There's a piece of redwood that I clear coated and uh, tried a little bit of that uh, acrylic gold paints. So, I don't know, it's pretty bright. Um, I just doodled. Um, but, so one side here, I took the thousand grit gray pad and got rid of the shine. And uh, it's harder to apply on this side then when it's smooth, when it's smooth, the paint goes on easier. There's less resistance, so. I don't know. It's pretty gold looking. Not as perfect as, as theirs, but we can work on it. But still, Still pretty brilliant. So that's a good thing. All right, still at it. So now I'm 
I'm dulling the finish with a gray pad. Um, see it. It dulls it. Let's see how shiny this is. I think I might leave that shiny, but the rest of it, I'm just bringing it down so that it's kind of like the original. I'll just get the shiny spots and just do this to the whole thing. And then I can paint a design on it and then do another clear coat and do this again. But this right here is taking all the nibs out. It's it's getting pretty pretty flat. I mean The color's pretty good the the pattern of tiger stripes. It looks ripply, but it's it's these things here that kind of give it an optical illusion. All right. I can make it completely dull, but I want it to leave just a little bit. If I don't like it, I can just, you know, clear it again and make it shiny. But the original one is the entire harp is kind of a matte finish. So this is the design I came came up with. I'm not going to do the other one because it won't fit. But this one is, uh, it's long and sh um, narrow. So I have it on both sides. And it looks something like this. Now all I gotta do is just fill it in, hopefully. It's about it's about halfway up on it. Uh, yeah, that, sh that should be fun. This is the, the, the funnest part is doing painting for me. Um, it's definitely going to pop, that's for sure. <laughs> it's going to be all gold and um, bronze and then black, little, you know, accents. Um, and hopefully then we'll put either one or two coats of clear coat just so that if the paint is a little raised up it'll cover that and we'll sand it down and do all that stuff and then i'll be done with it for this part and then the next part is getting these things the eyelets figuring that fun part fun part okay okay update um so i drew a design on here and now I'm filling it in with different gold paints. You can see this is uh, not done. And uh, this is actually from a catalog online. These are their wood. It's a company that does wood carvings for doors. And I had to find something that would fit this one space right here it just has to be long and kind of narrow because the original thing i wanted to use is kind of round at the bottom and it tapers off it was too fat it was uh something for another harp the harps that have the extended wings on the side more room for something like that but this it works good my wife likes it so i still 
that's like a couple hours to, to do that. It's just real um, time consuming in it. And um, it shows good under uh, different lighting conditions and turn the light on. Um, there. I just got to put some highlights and stuff like that. Okay, more research. So, um, here on Amazon, Darylin, that would work. Three eighths is 10 millimeters, one foot length. So I guess you get a bunch of these different colored ones, $17. But if you look up Darylin, and it's made by DuPont, and it's made for uh, gears, so it's a really strong plastic, that would work. And then uh, these I could cut. I could cut, cut it down and get the exact length I need. That's just an idea. All right, so I put clear code number five on. And it came out okay, a few little, little specks of dust, not horrible. So I'm gonna have probably put maybe one more coat on this. I'm gonna let this dry for two days. At least it did not melt. It did not melt this paint. Pretty, uh, it's looking pretty, pretty unusual, that's for sure. <laughs> Anyways, kind of fun doing it, you know? Yeah, I think it's gonna look really nice. So let's let this dry. I don't think I can wet sand it. I'll have to put Oh, one more coat on it in a couple days and then I can wet sand that one so that'll be six coats I think this will be the end of part 11 um, so there's the experimental piece um, this is his with it it's hard to, hard to see but this is with it um, dulled, the shiny part, the clear coat has been dulled down. And it, it kind of uh, takes away the brilliance. See, it gets kind of flat looking. So I might just leave the, the whole thing shiny. Um, this is the Lion and Healy one. You can see it's, you know, they, they put in a spray booth and spray it professionally. I, I do have a sprayer, but I don't feel like doing that. Um, so I, I'm pretty sure the reason that they, they make it in this kind of finish is that if you're on, on a stage and you're playing with a you know, orchestra or whatever, um, and they have the spotlights on the performers. They don't want this to be like a mirror and blind the audience, <laughs> like something like this, you know? So um, I'm just gonna leave it, I'm gonna leave it shiny and it can always be dulled after, you know, later on down the road if, if somebody wants, wants it that way, no problem. But I want it to really just pop out and be gold. Let there be gold. So I have the soundboard is outside drying for a couple days. Um, I can't keep it in here because it just it stinks the whole place up. And we'll check that out in the next video. And probably uh, lightly lightly sand any nibs off and then put another hopefully final coat that'll cover cover the paint design 
Okay.